大家好，欢迎收看这一期的健康食福。孩子是家庭的未来，那么有哪些常见的营养缺乏会影响到孩子们的健康成长，是每一个父母都关心的。这一期我们有请专家和朋友们谈一谈神奇食物小球藻在帮助儿童健康成长方面所起到的重要作用。Common nutritional problems for children can definitely be iron deficiency,、um, vitamin D deficiency, and I'm using the word deficiency. It might be even suboptimal because in my practice, I want people to have optimal levels of all their nutrients. Children, adults as well. So vitamin D is definitely something that is hard to get in enough of.、Uh, the iron, the B12, the folate, and then the essential fatty acids. And、um, definitely, so your essential fatty acid stuff like fish is important. But maybe a child isn't going to want to eat fish. So again, sun chlorella has a nice sun chlorella has a nice amount of some omega three fatty acids.、Um, so at least your kid's going to be getting it there. I think it's actually omega three and, and omega six fatty acids. So if you're at least getting your essential fatty acids in the sun chlorella and a little iron. And a little folate, and a little B12, and a little vitamin D. That's great. In the adult serving of sun chlorella, there's a thousand international units. That's they say a thousand. I use a vitamin D. That's a fantastic amount for maintenance.、Um, if someone's really in the hole, that won't bring them out of the hole, but at least it'll keep them from losing more. So,、um, for vitamin D for kids. You know they're growing healthy. They want to grow healthy bones. Their skeleton, you know, is that's their big growth spurts. Are their bones need to grow? To grow, the minimal you need is your your minerals like calcium, boron, phosphorus, and then you need vitamin D. So sun chlorella is very important in keeping nutrient levels, you know, maintained and getting them、uh, elevated in children. Um, as well as helping them have grow and have healthy bones because it has the vitamin D and calcium. Vitamin D deficiency is very serious because it can lead to the bones not growing or just growing in a weak way where they might be more susceptible to breaking or curving in the wrong, you know, in the wrong direction and not form correctly.、Um, and a lot of kids when they're really young, you know, that one, two-year-old range. You want to introduce them to foods that they're getting iron, which again are like green leafy vegetables. But if they're not eating enough green leafy vegetables, supplementing with sun chlorella would be great. Children who are picky eaters can have a lot of problems. Some of the problems would include constipation and stomach aches. So a child isn't going to say. Mom, I'm constipated. They're like going to kind of be fussy. Even if they're, you know, an older kid, they're going to be just irritable and、um, not in a good mood. Because just think about it. They're not. They are not going to the bathroom easily and regularly, and that's partly how our body detoxifies all day.、Um, and then they might not be hungry because their kind of intestines are all backed up trying to get rid of their old food that they already ate. So the good news is, if you can encourage your children to drink lots of water, and again, if you need to mix it with a little bit of juice to get the flavor going and make them more interested, that's good. But a lot of times, constipation can be because a child is just not drinking enough water. And they're usually, if kids are active, they're running around at the park, at the playground, and they're sweating. They might be sweating like an adult, and they're breathing hard, and that makes them dehydrated. So, first thing for your kid's digestive health is to get them to drink lots of water. The next thing, if you can get them to eat fiber, again, organic fruits and vegetables, you know, have fiber. So things that look like they have fiber have fiber. You know, lettuce,、uh, zucchini, broccoli. You look at them; they look like they're full of fiber.、Um, fruits like the citrus fruits and apples definitely have fiber too. Carrots. You know the root vegetables like carrots. Look, you know, you look at them; they're like, they look fibrous. However, some kids just aren't going to eat enough of the fruits and vegetables, or they want to just eat, you know, pizza and chicken nuggets. So, what are you going to do with those kids? You can offer something like the sun chlorella and get them in a serving a day, or you know, a child serving two times a day. That would be great. The if they'll chew the tablets, that's fantastic. 
and they're getting fiber, so the fiber in that is going to help them move their bowels along. As well as if you use the powdered form of the sun chlorella, sun chlorella is a really um, new, improved powder form that again, you know, sprinkle it on something your kid already likes and their cereal, their hot cereal, cold cereal, or yogurt. So that would be a great way to help your kid's digestion. There were interesting studies looking at the cord blood from uh, women, for the babies, but from the women who took the sun chlorella and the ones who didn't. And that certain measurements of toxins, I think it was PCBs, um, and I can't remember the other name of the toxin, but PCB is a really common one that unfortunately, if you just take, again, these specialty tests or cord blood, you're already seeing it. But in the group that took the sun chlorella, their babies had way fewer toxins um, in the cord blood, and also they measured in the woman's breast milk. When she had taken sun chlorella during pregnancy and took it in an ongoing way, the breast milk was pure and just had less chemicals in it. So the, that chlorophyll and the fiber in the sun chlorella is a really potent detoxifier and cleanser uh, for everybody's body. In both adults and children, again, we're chronically exposed, or I can at least say in industrialized countries, to lots of toxins, you know, from mercury um, to PCBs to organophosphates, glycosphates. So you can't really get away from it. So the best you can do is make healthy choices again, have a healthy organic diet, and to pick things that you clean your children with, you know, their shampoos, their soaps, their toothpaste that are as pure as possible. And then the next level, if you take the sun chlorella between the fiber and the chlorophyll and the growth factor, you're helping detox and cleanse. So at least you're, again, you're ahead of, ahead of it as much as you can, that you're helping your kids not accumulate lots of these toxins in a really quick way. Um, again, what's supportive in that, that uh, effect of sun chlorella detoxifying is again, when we looked at the breast milk or in the Japanese study of looking at breast milk and the women who took sun chlorella versus the control group, they had really fewer toxins, um, especially the PCBs in their breast milk. So if it's helping women in their breast milk, it's gotta be helping the kids detoxify as well. 听了专家的介绍，看来小球藻还真是儿童健康成长过程中的好伴侣。下面呢，我们去小球藻厨房看一看这一期的健康食谱。<音>